Hey there, I'm Ken. This is Canadian Retro Things. Welcome. Today I'm going to be looking at something I have from a long time ago that was retro back then, long before I was ever collecting retro things. I was going through some stuff out here at my cabin and I came across something that I picked up, well, a long time ago, darn near 20 years ago. That is this. It's a CD-ROM and it is an Atari CD-ROM. Now the reason that I know that I picked this up simply because it was retro back then is because how I got this. So let's take a closer look. What I have here is an Atari 80 classic game in one CD-ROM disc. This is something that was released on multiple platforms, sometimes under the name Atari Anthology. What makes this one a little more unique is that it was one that was given away free in General Mills Serial. So it has the General Mills logo on it. Upon looking this up on the internet, I found some information. Unfortunately, some of that information does conflict with other information that I found. But what I do know is that this giveaway happened in 2005. Looking at the disc, I can see that it was made to run on Windows 98 ME 2000 and XP. Some information that I found said it was a giveaway only in Canada. I did see one mention of there being a download available in the US, but most places that I looked said that they're not aware of it being available at all in the US. The reason I know that I must have bought the serial specifically for this disc was that once I was living on my own, I almost never bought cereal and almost never ate it. It just wasn't what I had for breakfast anymore. So I guess it's time to put this into the computer, see if it'll run, and I guess see if it even still works. So one of the good things about using a desktop that's a couple of years old is I still have a CD drive in it. And we are loading up. I guess run it. And yes. Well, I guess there's nothing to do but install this. See if it installs. Install, play. Ooh, loud. Let's see if I can. Ah. Okay, there was a small technical hiccup there. Um. The disc seems to be running fine. Unfortunately, trying to capture it on my OBS, uh, when it goes into full screen, it just became a small box in the corner. So I had to figure out how to get it centered. We've got it centered on my OBS now. So now I can try it out. So here's our title screen. And here is all of the categories that we have. Sports games. Bowling, football, home run, video Olympics, super football, super baseball, real sports volleyball, real sports tennis, real sports football, real sports baseball, miniature golf, golf, and double dunk. So options. Beginner, beginner, color TV, hint book F1, game reset one, game select tab. All right. Let's try some real sports tennis. All right, well, after some technical difficulties, um, I've discovered a couple of weird things about this. Of course, I 
Um, when I'm running it on the uh, menu screen like this, I'm recording fine. We're looking through stuff. I can read about stuff. Uh, so what we'll do is just go through and see. So we've seen what's in the sports one. In the adventure games, you have Adventure, Haunted House, Sword Quest, Earth, Fire World, and Water World. Um, yeah, if I start playing a game, it does some funny things to my recording software. So uh, these are actual arcade games, Asteroids, Black Widow, Centipede, Liberator, Major Havoc, Missile Command, Space Duel, blah. You can see them all on the screen here. I won't read them all off to you. These are the home versions of the arcade games. Space games. So there is a lot on here to play. Racing games. Doesn't have my favorite racing game on here though, and that is Enduro for the Atari 2600. Mind games. Oh, it's got basic programming. Action games. And some gambling games. Now I haven't seen what happens if I hit the extra button yet, so let's try that. Does it crash? All right, well, there we go. Seems like here's some bonus stuff. This is the instruction manuals for blackjack bowling breakout so it's yeah it appears it just has a whole bunch of the manuals in here oh the centipede comic So there is a lot to look through here. So and there's also that's that. And there's also box art, pictures of the cartridges, interviews with people. Um, and some Atari images. So actually this uh, disc came with a lot of stuff. Well, there we go. So this is actually what the screen looks like. What it's doing is it's putting it into another aspect ratio. So it's changing the aspect ratio every time I start a game, so. But as you can see, definitely battle zone. Right. It looks like I have figured out a way to um, actually play the game. Let's see. So here we go with Yar's Revenge. So the really weird thing is that um, if I play the arcade games, it goes into a completely different aspect ratio. If I play the regular games, it usually goes into a different aspect ratio and um, yeah, so Let's just go, I don't know, Sprint Master. So if I change, okay, so I'm in 640 by 480, which then it'll stay in the same aspect ratio that it is currently in. 
so then I can play the games. But every time I try to back out of a game, it crashes the game and uh, hangs up the computer a bit. So it makes it slow and tedious to go through a lot of these games. But all of these games work. It just is difficult to uh, switch between them. So I don't know if that's a byproduct of this being a more modern computer than this uh, disc was meant for or whether this is a problem that we had with the disc originally. I can't remember, but on the plus side, at least everything works. So. Well, the Atari disc is working ish. The biggest problem I had with it was trying to screen capture it because every time it switched into a new game, it would change the aspect ratio, which really messed with OBS. So it was a big pain in the butt to try to do that, but playing it, it all worked absolutely fine. The biggest problem that I had with it, of course, is when you tried to get out of a game, it would crash. But that's not really a big deal because then you just had to relaunch it. it takes two seconds, you're back in playing again. So it still works even today. And it is an awesome collection of Atari 2600 and Atari arcade games. So yeah. I am going to have some fun playing that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what you can do with the liking, the subscribing, and the commenting below because anything and everything you do is always greatly appreciated. But since I have this fire, I think I'm going to find some marshmallows. See you later.